Hi, this is Dominic from Path Horse Life, and I'm down on a rather humid Saturday night at uh, Path Horse Seafront. And I'm going to have a walk around and try not to melt. It's over 30 and it's uh, about 20 past nine, I think. So the only advantage you get about doing it this time is that you don't actually have the sun beating down on you. So even though it's warm, I mean, it was 30 in Paphos early on today, but the feels like value was about 40. It's not like that now. It's the uh, humidity that gets you though. It's only 10 past nine, actually, I do apologise for having a wander down. And it's a full moon again tonight, and I got all excited because uh, last time I was down here on a night time was Cataclysmos, and I got a very nice photograph of a uh, fish boy behind, uh, sorry, in front of a reflection of the full moon. And so I thought I'd be able to get another shot like that this time, because last time I couldn't get the exact shot I wanted because there was a big van parked in the way. But this time someone was sat in front of a statue. One of those things. Such is the lot we have to bear. Now hopefully I might be able to get a similar effect on the actual film itself. I've been experimenting with different uh, microphones as well, so I sound less like, like less like me as I'm about to have a heart attack. It's the last film I made. It was picking up everything, like every wave, every fart, every breath. Hopefully this will be a bit better. He's still there. I'll try and get a reflection shot anyway in film. Or not, as the case may be. Oh, you can't really see, that's interesting. In this mode, you can't really see the uh, sunlight reflection and the moonlight reflection. So, there you go. Go back to where it's a bit brighter. So, heading straight for the wooden pub. It'd be nice if their wooden pub writing was illuminated at night. Looks like they're watching golf. Plenty of people enjoying pizzas and what have you. From Bacchus. I do like those little lights they throw up and come back down. Don't know if you got that on little umbrellas. They make memories of distant holidays when we're here as tourists. And our daughter was a little girl and she's in fall by them. There's a cafe bistro. And the captain's view coming into view. Trying to work out which boats have gone out for their evening cruises.
oh, that lady actually looked up what this instrument was, and it was only invented in the early yeah. 2000s, and already people are arguing about what the name is. As it is, I can not remember any of the names, so it is all irrelevant. But she does make very nice music. She wasn't here when I walked up, though. She makes very nice music. Now we're coming to, what's this chap doing? Looks like fake tattoos. Hello, I guess. The mooring's just coming up. Wonder if we'll get to see Henry tonight, or whether he'll be too busy. Need to have a word with him about his uh, motivational YouTube channel. So I looked, he's only made about three films in the last month. That's hardly motivational. He needs motivating himself. So I have to come up with a snappy motivator for him. Now, with this camera, the sea doesn't look that special, but with my DSLR set to uh, night mode, it looks really nice. And if you look on our Facebook page, you'll see we do Calispera pictures, and I've already walked up here tonight and taken a load of them. And when it was dusk, I actually flew the new drone up and I have no idea what that footage will be like. But uh, it could be very nice. It's difficult to say with evening photography, or oh, it's night now, I guess. There's a name on the grain of rice, hairband and sponge was in there somewhere. I do hope his name's Bob. That'd be fitting, that. Well, someone's still touting uh, safaris. I thought that's a bit late in the day for that. Boom, boom, boom. There's more hair braids. I have to say, by the way, when I've been flying the drone, you can really see how nice the whole area looks these days. Oh, this is, I noticed this on the way up. It might be something to do with the 50th anniversary of the invasion by Turkey and people who are still missing. Oh, there's a film you can watch as well. That's a sorry anniversary to have to, I won't say celebrate, Mark. Let's hope that they can find a lasting solution. I cannot tell you how humid it is at the moment. But we're approaching the harbour now, and I do know that we get some nice reflection shots up here. Because what I've got to do is walk through here filming till I get to the castle. Then I'll stop and I'll take a few more pictures before collapsing in the car getting the seat nice and wet. There's quite a few people around. It's not like me to film when it's very busy, but you can't really do a nighttime film about crowds. Is that portrait, a caricature? 
Be nice draw in Mick Jagger. Now in the white light area, which I prefer. And there's the mysterious clock tower, each side representing a different house in the archaeological park. And none of them telling, oh, looks like they might be telling the right time. Have they heard my sarcastic comments and reset the time? Is it half nine now? I don't know, it can't be that. But they do look fairly consistent now, anyway. Cool. Yes, they might have been, had their times changed. Do I really have this power? It's an effort to remain humble. Anyway, we're coming through the harbour now. I'm going to say hello to Henry. If he'll speak to me while I'm dripping wet. There's another person selling balloons. I do like the lights, how they reflect on that wall over there. There's Theo's. There's the pelican. I don't think we'll see the pelican out tonight. There's Mickey Mouse for some reason. This is something out of a horror film. On earth would there be a Mickey Mouse wandering around? That's that what Henry does in his time off. Oh, this one's got a football match on. And who's playing? The Pelicans are doing a roaring trade. Get them in. And then we come up to Stevie's. There's Henry, will he be too busy? <laughs> Filming in his native habitat. Busy. I'll say hello to him on the way back. I'll stop filming. I don't want to interrupt him during his peak working hours. Oh, with this camera, I should be able to pop in and see Evie if she's working. Say hello to her. See how she's getting on. Because this is my indoor camera, obviously, because it also doubles as the night camera, because the lighting conditions are somewhat similar. And I have to run it through a stabiliser afterwards anyway. I haven't seen Evie for a while. There's a little model boat area. And someone was saying that they didn't think they were working, but I've definitely seen people using them in the not too distant past. So they've uh, fixed that. And there's a rather stark memorial to the 50 years occupation on the side of the castle, which I'll take a picture of in a minute. I don't know if you can see that. We'll get that uh, when we get to the castle. There's a nice little moggy there getting <laughs> scared by the kid. It might even be too bright in there. Oh, Evie's there. Go and say hello to her. Oh.
There she is. Hello. Sorry, I'm a bit hot and sweaty. It's very muggy out, but I thought I'd pop in and say hello. How's Evie been? <laughs> Busy? Oh. Is it quiet, is it? Oh, well. It's not quiet. A lot of people come, but it's not quiet. Oh, that's a shame. I'll film some of your stuff so that they can know where to get it. So this is Evie, she has Pumpkin House, her shop up in Old Town, but for the time being, she's down here. Along with all the other art and craft stores here. But definitely if you're in the seafront and harbour area, you should pop here. It's ten you to start in the mornings, isn't it? Yes. Ten o'clock till the... Uh, So 10 till 2 and 5 till 11 or 12, so plenty of time. Depends on the weather, yeah. You need your siesta. <laughs> anyway, I will catch you later, Evie. I'll carry on with my film. Nice to see you. So yes, if you're in the area, definitely pop in there. I'll just show you where we are. There's the castle. There's Da Vinci's Ice Cream Emporium. There's the toilet, always good to know. And there's the Art and Craft Centre. And there's the rest of the harbour. But I'm going to... have a quick look at this projection on the castle which is rather depressing but necessary fifty years of Turkish occupation let's finish on a more cheerful no, we'll go up here because it's very beautiful now what, what it looks like up here. Here's the modern Aphrodite looking towards the rock. It's a jolly good eyesight. Doesn't that look nice? And there's a walkway to the lighthouse beach. I'm not going to head down that tonight though. I'll turn around and come back here and get the castle from up here. See if that looks nice. I have to say I've had a better view than that in the past. Probably because they've got it illuminated for that uh, projection. But there's the uh, illuminations there. I think I'll pan back to show you the harbour before saying goodbye. Right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next film.